Dr. Bill Crawford here, psychology speaker, author of seven books, host of two PBS specials. Here again to bring you another tip on how to help you create the life you want. Specifically, how to use my life from the top of the mind philosophy to bring more clarity, confidence, creativity to everything you do. Today I want to talk about the concept of trust and especially how to inspire trust. Now, while some of this does really pertain to inspiring trust in our partners, in our life partners, in our relationships, in our friends, this is mostly for people who are in a position where others trusting them is really important to achieving their goals. If you are a parent, if you are a leader, if you are a supervisor, if you are a speaker, <laughs> it's really important that people trust you in order for you to be influential, in order for you to achieve your goals. There was a, a TED Talk that I saw recently from Frances Free. She's a uh, dean at one, uh, one of the deans at Harvard Business School. She looked at trust in a very unique way. She talked about it as a triangle, kind of needing three things equally. I like to think of it as a three-legged stool. But she talked about how if one of these aspects of trust is wobbly, it isn't going to work. So I love that image of a three-legged stool, of like if one leg is wobbly and kind of uh, won't stand up, then it's really not going to work. So she talked about trust being made up of three things. Number one, empathy, which is probably the one that most people have trouble with. Number two, authenticity, very important. And number three, logic. And she was really cute. She says, well, if your logic is wonky, I can't help you. You need to go figure that out. But I think most of us come to situations where we're wanting to imply knowledge or help people achieve things or help people change or whatever, you know, give people information in a seminar. Logic is pretty much there. But if it's not, people won't trust you. Now, one of the things she also talked about, or at least I think is really important, is that trust is a perception. You may think you are trustworthy, but if people perceive you as not trustworthy, then it won't make any difference what you think because it is how they perceive you. So the first thing they need to perceive is that you understand them, you get them. You have empathy, which doesn't mean sympathy, doesn't mean you feel sorry for them, but you can understand how they would think and feel what they think and feel. Because a lot of times when we're talking to someone, I think we have a tendency to get into this, do I agree with you? We almost listen for agreement versus understanding. You know, Stephen Covey said, seek first to understand and then be understood. And the reason that's so important is because if we're talking to someone and they think we don't get it, that we don't understand what's important to them or why they would think and feel the way they're thinking and feeling, then they forget it. After that, it just doesn't make any difference. They will not trust us. They will not listen to us. They will not act upon anything we want them to know. So, empathy. One way of doing that is listening for understanding and at some point saying, you know, I can see how that would be important to you. I can see how you'd really think and feel that way. That lets people know that we get it. Often, until they hear that, they think they have to convince us of the righteousness of their perspective and they keep waiting to see if we get it. So, I think letting them know we get it without needing to agree. Sometimes we may not agree, but we can understand. The next one is authenticity. You know, if we're being fake, if we're putting on this mask, or if we're putting kind of distance between us and another person, then they kind of get that we're not being authentic. And if they think we're not being authentic, gosh, how can they trust us? Because what are we hiding? What are we not showing them? So I think that's where choosing the qualities and characteristics you want to bring to life that are truly representative of you at your best is really important. I call it our highest purpose. And it comes from this upper 80% of the brain. By the way, empathy, clear logic, and authenticity all come from this upper 80% of the brain, what I call the neocortex or the top of the mind. For those of you who follow my philosophy, you know that's really what I do. I go out and teach people how to access this clear, confident, creative, trustworthy part of who they are regardless of the situation. And often that's fine and easy when things are going great, but when you know when someone is pushing back or not listening or not getting what you want them to get, sometimes we can get frustrated or stressed or annoyed or angry or resentful. That throws us into that lower reactive brain and A, we're not as effective and B, we're certainly not going to be trusted when we're in that lower brain. So the idea of being very clear about the value of uh, empathy, making sure we get it, making sure that we are clear about the value of authenticity. In terms of logic, I think the question we've got to ask ourselves is, how is the information that I want to bring, how is my logic good for them? 
I'm gonna know it's how it's good for me or the organization or whatever, the family. How is it good for them? How is they, how, how would it be, how would it be important for them to hear what I have to say as valuable? Because if I'm not framing what I have to say in terms of how they would perceive it as valuable, then it's just me trying to convince people of something. And if you've ever tried to do that, have you noticed people resist being convinced? We resist being sold a bill of goods. But if we're talking to people and we're really looking to understand, our logic is sound and they really feel we're being authentic in how we are with them, that allows them to perceive us as someone who is trustworthy, which means what we say will then be heard in a way where they may take it, act upon it, see it as valuable, and that helps them accomplish their goals and helps us accomplish our goals. This is what I do. I get to go around the world teaching people how to inspire trust in others, how to communicate with others in a way where the other person really hears the value of what you're saying. I help parents, I help leaders, help supervisors, help managers, help anybody in a position of influence kind of do this. And, you know, that's what I love to do, and I would love to come and do it for your organization, by the way. All you've got to do if you want me to do that is go to my website, BillCrawfordPhD.com, hit the contact button, let me know what you're interested in. Love to talk with you about that. And, hey, if you're liking these videos, I'm having a great time bringing them to you. I try to post one each week. Please hit the like button. You know how Facebook and YouTube and Pinterest and LinkedIn love it when you like it. So hit the like button. Share it with your folks, your friends, if you feel that would be valuable. Because when we can take information that we find valuable and kind of make sure that it has what's called social proof or other people find it valuable, that means the potential for it to be meaningful and useful will be uh, raised. So if this is helpful for you, if you're liking this, if you see the value of engaging people from an empathetic, logical, and authentic perspective, and how that is tied to trust, if that's helpful to you, I hope that you will take it, use it, run with it. By the way, if you do have questions about how to use this in life, all you got to do is email me, uh, drbill at billcphd.com or drbill at billcrawfordphd.com or billcphd at gmail.com or just go to the website. Again, hit the contact button and, or the message button. Send me a message and you can email me from the message. I hope this is valuable. I'm loving bringing this to you. I'm going to do one each week. So in the meantime, as you practice thinking about this and using this, here is to you bringing more clarity, confidence, creativity to everything you do. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.